Hello and welcome to the Music Theory Guy Clinic with me, Music Theory Guy. If you've got a question about music theory, this is the place to get it answered. Please send me an email with any questions that you might have to clinic at musictheoryvideos.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Now this is the second of my clinic videos and it's being recorded before video number one has even been released. So I don't have any questions to answer from you just yet, but I thought I'd answer a question that I'm asked all the time and that's to do with relative majors and minors. What are they and how do you work them out? Let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of examples and first up, let's see if we can find the relative minor of D major. Now the way to do this is to use the circle of fifths. Now I know that there are other methods available out there to do this, but the circle of fifths is a tried and tested method which I use with my students all the time and they fully understand it. So I strongly recommend using the circle of fifths. Now if you're not sure what the circle of fifths is or how to create it or how to use it, do have a look at my other videos, my main lessons on the circle of fifths. They'll tell you everything that you need to know about the circle of fifths. Now, because we're focusing in on D major, we need to find the D on our circle, and here it is. Notice how it's on the sharp side of the circle. That's very important because we're going to be counting around that side to that D in just one moment. Now, the way we do this, we start at C, and we always start at C on the major circle of fifths. We count one to the G, and then two to the D. Now, because we've counted two to the D and it's on the sharp side of the circle, we can say that D major has got two sharps in its key signature. And as you can see, I've made a note of that, those two sharps at the bottom of the screen. It's really important we remember that D major has got two sharps in it. So remember, we're here to find out the relative minor of D major. What we do, we have to look at our minor circle of fifths. So here it is. And we always start on an A, on the minor circle of fifths. And because we know that D major has got two sharps in it, we need to count round on the sharp side of our circle till we get to two sharps. So let's just work this out. So we start at the A, as I say so, and we count one around to the E, and then two around to the B. So we know that B minor has got two sharps in its key signature. Because both D major and B minor have two sharps in their key signature, we can say that they are relative, or we could say that B minor is the relative minor of D major. Let's try one more example. This time, let's find out the relative major of B flat minor. Now, because we're looking at a minor key to start with, we need to work out how many sharps or flats are in the key signature of B flat minor. Now, big tip here, if it's called B flat, it's not going to have any sharps in its key signature. Similarly, if something's called something sharp, it's not going to have any flats in its key signature. So first of all, let's find that B flat on our circle of fifths. Here it is. And remember, we're going around the flat side of the circle. And what we do now, we need to count around from the A, and remember we all start on an A on the minor circle of fifths, and we count up until we get to that B flat. So here we go. So it's one to the D, two to G, three to C, four to F, and finally five to that B flat. So we know that B flat minor has got five flats in its key signature. Make a note of that, as you can see I have at the bottom of the screen. We now need to use our major circle of fifths to count around five times on the flat side of the circle. So here's our major circle of fifths. We start at that C as we always do with major and we're gonna count around on this flat side of the circle and we count up to five. So here we go. So it's one to the F, two to B flat, three to E flat, four to A flat, five to, is it D flat or C sharp? Well, remember, because our key signature has got flats in, it will only ever be called something flat. So we can dismiss the C sharp and we can definitely say it's D flat. So we now know that D flat major is the relative major of B flat minor because they both have five flats in their key signature. 
Now, as I said at the start of this video, if you're not entirely sure how to use or how to create the circle of fifths, do have a look at my other videos, those main lessons on the circle of fifths. I know lots and lots of you have watched those videos. In fact, if I think about it, I think they're my most watched videos on YouTube. So please have a look there if you do want a little bit more help with the circle of fifths. Well, I hope that's been useful. Remember, if you've got a question about music theory, please do send me an email to clinic at musictheorievideos.com. In the meantime, many thanks for watching.